In this example, we are asked to calculate the concentration of a solution after we have diluted it. And uh, we, are, we want to use, in this case, a dilution factor. So how are we going to do that? So what we do is we take 0 0.2 milliliter of our stock solution and add it to a volume of 32.1 milliliter of water. So this is, this would actually look a little bit like this. So this is what we have here. So what we can say in terms of dilution factor is we now have a total volume total volume of 0 0.2 milliliter plus 32.1 milliliter, which of course gives us 30.3 milliliter. That's our total volume. And we have 0 0.2 milliliter put into this total volume. So the dilution factor dilution factor in this case would be total volume divided by the volume of the stock solution and in this case uh, if we put in our numbers here we would have 32.2 3 milliliter divided by 0 0.2 milliliter and that gives us a dilution factor of let's just get the computer the calculator out 32.3 divided by 0.2 gives us 161 0.5. That is our dilution factor, 161.5. So our stock solution is 161.5 times diluted. So what can we do with that? Well, we just simply can say our new solution, so this working solution here, working solution, working solution, the concentration of that is nothing else but the concentration of the stock solution, stock solution divided by the dilution factor. Dilution factor so we have a stock solution of 71.5 millimolar. That's what was our stock solution. And we have a dilution factor of 161.5 by which we dilute it. So we can do very simple calculations, 71.5. So we have 71.5 divided by 161.5 and this gives us 0 0.44. So here we get 0 0.44 millimolar for our working solution. So this is how you can calculate a dilution factor and the resulting concentration of the diluted uh, solution just by simply taking the stock solution divided by the dilution factor. I hope this makes sense and thank you for watching.